Hey guys, this is Rick here with Ergen Webb and I got my wife Sue with Backyard Shooting. Hey babe. Hey guys. So what are we doing here? We are at our Texas ranch at Airgun Web Shooting Range Headquarters, I guess that would be pretty accurate. Probably, I mean, this is your range. Yeah, so I thought it would be nice. We started out this Airgun Road Trip with a little competition between me and your sister mm -hmm. and I, Victorious. I thought it was only fitting we do another one, this time with you, and this time with big bores, because you've turned into a big bore air gunner now, haven't you? I mean, tell the folks what you just did the other day. I shot a pig. Yeah. And I uh, shot it with a big bore air gun. And Mr. Terry Tate's big bore air gun. And that was fun? It was awesome fun. So one of our sponsors on Air Gun Road Trip is Crossman, and we're here with the Benjamin Bulldog. Yep. Now. Bulldog. My first look at this gun was brand new when it first came out. Frankly, if I'm gonna be honest, was not, I wasn't thrilled with it. Uh, but then I started seeing all these reviews and you guys, if you've seen the video, you know this is the case. I saw these reviews on this gun and they were like, it's awesome, it's awesome, it's awesome. I'm going, okay, I actually bought that gun. I put the cash out, had some, you know, some bullseye bucks there at Pyramid Air and I picked this gun up. And I gotta say, it is awesome. <laughs> It's really consistent. Uh, we're getting really good accuracy out of it. And I thought it would be nice to have a little contest. We've got a piggy at 75 yards. You can take five shots. I'll take five shots. Okay. But and I, we're going to pause in between, right? So I can come and blow in your ear. No, just you're going to sit right there and not bother me and not shake the table either. <laughs> but I'm going to, you're going to take five sure. shots. Sure. Yeah. You take five <laughs> shots. I'll take five shots and we'll see. And if we both, put five shots on the target, we'll call it a draw. How's that? That sucks. I think I think we'll call it a draw. Fine. Yeah, we'll call it a draw. But let me air, air that up. Your hand out here. I know why you like this gun. Why is that? Because it makes you look like a Starship Trooper. It does have that look, doesn't it? Yes. I, uh, I was not a super fan initially of the ergonomics or the look of this gun. But the more I shoot it, the more, I mean, it's about the performance, right? I mean, yes, it's nice and it looks pretty too. And I don't know that that looks pretty. Yes, no? No. But I tell you what, it's got it looks all- militant. It's got all the right features. If you're a hunter, you gotta have swivel studs. Swivel That's studs. Good. Um, good shot count. We get 10 solid shots out of this, 3000 PSI. Good power between 150, you could push it up to 190 foot pounds. And a, and a 35, that's pretty doggone good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got everything you need. And uh, the more I shoot it, the more I have to say, I'm really starting to like it. All right, so. I didn't like it initially either. I shot it a few times just to test it and see how it does. And I like how it shoots. Yeah, I mean, once you get used to it, it, uh, it yeah, you get spoiled because when you keep drilling the target. This buttstock is actually more padded than I thought it was too. And recoil? None. No recoil, that's good. Well, we're shooting the JSP pellets, so these are 81.02 grain. So uh, that's still pretty doggone heavy when you're thinking about a pellet. So you are loaded and good to go. You got five shots ready to roll. Okay. And I haven't changed anything. I haven't messed with the scope or just... Nah. Okay, let me start the other camera. Okay, let's see how I do. Ooh. Man, that hits with some authority, doesn't it? That's what you want. You want it to take down the pig. Um. No pressure. <laughs> Safety's on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and top it back off here. Yeah, no pressure, babe. Yeah, no pressure. Now, can I start making excuses now? Can I, can I, like, uh, I wouldn't put it past you. I haven't shot it at 75 <laughs> yards yet. Um, uh, you wouldn't let me test it. You've um, tested more than your fair share of guns. Nobody's gonna buy this. 
that as an excuse. I'm just trying here. Uh-huh. Uh, this is my, my prediction. My prediction is you will get the five. Unless I do this. <laughs> <laughs> Now, where are you putting those crosshairs? You gonna tell me? Nope. Gosh, come on. Nope. It's not that hard. Come on, you can do it. Oh, it's a five mag. Five, five mag. Those are some big pellets, folks. Yeah. Now, just for you guys out there hunting, I would not shoot pigs with pellets. Not these pellets, not a big pig. A smaller pig, headshot, yeah, if you can make sure you can definitely gonna attack it behind the ear or something, sure. But these dome pellets are not best on bigger pig. You want to run, did I put five in there? I don't know. I don't know. I got, I got the talking lost count, here we go. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't use these. I would use a cast, a cast round, like um, Hunter Supply has a 150 grain wad cutter that really hits like a tank. We've shot the 105 Lees. Uh, the Nozzlers aren't bad. Really, you want something that just gives you really solid impact and good energy transfer on game. But for target shooting, uh, these guys are awesome. Okay. Somebody pulling in here? They... I don't know. There's three cars in a row. So Goodness, you know. okay. Well, we'll wait for That's cars to go. That's the most traffic I've ever seen yeah, out here. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic for Grace Ranch, let me tell you. Okay. Now aim for the tail, babe. That's where I was aiming. <laughs> I can see all the dots and dimples in the pig, you know. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Where'd you aim? Hey, right dead center with that first, that first triangle in this one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so five shots each, 75 yards. If we were hunting, it That's would be... 10 dead pigs. <laughs> it'd be, yeah. It'd be or dead. 10 dead something. Yeah, so absolutely effective. What a great gun. Um, you know, it's just a... You may or may... You may love it or you may hate the way it looks. Can I feel it? But I can't... I can't say anything about how it shoots because it definitely shoots great. So that's a little bit of a contest here with the Benjamin Bulldog. I am a new convert and a fan of that gun. How about you, babe? What do you think? I really liked it. I, I actually didn't find it as heavy as I thought I would. And I mean, styling aside, I don't like the styling, but it shoots great. Yeah. And that's what's important, right? Yeah. For now, guys, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for your support as we did this road trip. It was a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can do more. I want to say thank you to Indian Air Guns. I want to say thank you to Crossman and everybody else that helped us out along the way. For now, my name is Rick Utsler. And I'm Sue Utsler. Thanks for watching.